Welcome back, travelers. It is slot I have it. Very slow start there. I don't know why. I'm just in a silly, goofy mood today, but I'm ready to have some fun. Yes, I have basically just been kind of, you know, doing a few little grindy, grindy things, but not too much. I ended up making all of the runes uh, that you can make for that. And you know what? I don't know if it's just me, but I could have sworn if like you used a rune in. Uh, on the altar or whatever, it actually consumed the room, but I was getting them all back. So as I was using like the, the fire, earth, water, and air to make the spring, summer, autumn, and fall ones, I was actually getting them back. And then when I had to use these to make the lust, gluttony, and all those, I was getting them back, which I'm not complaining about. I thought you used to consume them, but apparently either I'm mistaken and you didn't used to consume them or maybe that's changed for Kappa mode. I don't, I don't know. It, it seems like it'd be a weird change for Kappa mode because that would make things easier, but who knows? But anyways, um, I was looking at progression. As you can see, I was looking at the next thing I want to do, which was the weak infusion, but you know, what? I should probably claim these real quick. So I don't forget about them because I, I, I got them done not too long ago. And, uh, I was looking at kind of what I wanted to do for this episode. And, because, like I said, Batania opens up a lot of stuff. I really think that, you know, we'll probably be concentrating on Batania for at least this episode, if not, you know, a couple more in the near future. But we'll see. But today is definitely going to be uh, wrapped around the Batania because there's a couple things I want to make. Uh, structure generator, small wizard tower. Ooh, I'm very interested by that. Uh, those saplings we've gotten before. And, ooh, artifact. What do we get? What do we get? We got, since it's nearby, ores, knockback resistance, restore health after taking lethal damage. Nope, 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 nope. Not better than my heals uh, player and speed boost. So we will go ahead. You know what? I'm just going to throw that one away. I've been trying not to hold on to these armors unless I get a really cool one. And I haven't gotten a really cool one in quite a while. I want the ones that do uh, food saturation. Um, as well as adding hearts, because I have two that add hearts. So I've got 2.5 hearts there and 2.5 hearts. So I do have five extra hearts um, along with my heart canisters. So I have like 15 extra hearts. So now we're up to 25, not too shabby, but yes. So anyways, um, yeah. So I wanted to move on to um, the weak infusion so we can mar start making some more of this Menincio stuff because this is how we're going to get into making our awesome seeds and stuff like that. Yes. I really want to get into our awesome seeds. And uh, the weak infusion stone is made with Terra Steel, I believe it was. And so we're going to have to start getting our heading in the direction of Terra Steel. Uh, weak infusion stone. Yeah, it's Terra Steel in the um, basin with this alchemy, uh, <laughs> alchemy catalyst. And the alchemy catalyst is not too difficult to make. It's an ender pearl, a couple living rocks, a couple brewing stands, and um, gold. So super duper simple, not a big deal, but we got to get the Terra Steel. And that is where uh, this guy comes in. Uh, Terra Steel, I don't know, is it, does it show a picture? No, it doesn't show a picture, um, but I do have the book open to it. So to get our Terra Steel, we need to make the terrestrial agglomeration plate. Sure. Uh, ag Glomeration plate. Yeah, whatever. But it's not its not terribly expensive. Uh, lapis blocks, which we have tons of. Uh, mana steel, that's easy. Just nine steel. Uh, fire, air, mana, earth. So it's the four elements plus mana. That's simple. We can make that super, super simple. So let's start becoming ourselves some lapis blocks. We're going to need uh, three for the plate. One, two, three. And then we're going to need five for the... I think it's five lapis it might be just four lapis and five living art i can't remember the recipe off the top of my head um how you set it up but yeah so those are all over there and then i need what was it a mana pearl was that what it was mana pearl right what was in the uh, what was in the middle oh man of steel yes 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 and i've been recently making a little more steel over in the oven so one two three four five six seven eight nine that's ten i said nine okay there we go so then we can make this up pretty quickly and easily and then get this thing set up. So we'll dump you all in there. Got those. And I wonder if I have to melt these down because I know a lot of these blocks I can't turn back into blocks. So I might have to melt these down. 
Nope, I can do that. Cool. Awesome, awesome, awesome. And then I just go grab all of these guys. So one of you, one of you, one of you, one of you, and where's the mana one? That's, yeah, that's the mana. Cool. And then I'm going to need at least four, or at least five, four. I don't remember. We'll see. Anyways, I know we've got everything we need now. So, um, yes. Well, let's see if I can remember the recipe. It was you, and you in the middle, and you went there, and hopefully this order doesn't matter. I would really be upset if this order mattered. It does. Okay. Um, water, earth, fire, air. Okay. So, water, earth. Like, they were literally just on the wrong spot. All right, cool. So, that's that guy right there. Now, we're going to put this pretty close to this pool over here. So, let's just do it, like, right here. And, come on, there we go. And let us look at the layout. I'm pretty sure I'm close, but, aha, there it is. Um, there's a way to do, yeah, visualize, that's what I wanna do. Right click to anchor. Okay, cool. Hey, I did right click to anchor. Right click any block to anchor the structure and preview it. Well, anyways, I, it's okay. Um, I, come on, come on, get it. Oh, unvisualized, that's what I need to do. Okay, there we go. And I think it's a, I don't know if it's a lap, I think it's a checker pattern. So I think it's like this and I think it's living stone in the middle. I don't think it's lapis. Let us see if I've done this right. And you should be living stone. Think that's right. And then the terrestrial plate goes like this. Right. And then I need, I think it's sparks. I don't think that I can, well, let's see. I don't know. It's been a long time since I've really messed with Batania and like got deep into it. But you should be donating so you connect to that. I think that might work, actually. Yeah, you're all full up. You're all full up. Um, I'm gonna need some more blocker lotuses pretty soon. Well, we can throw them in now. And then that way we'll fill this up. I don't want those to ever go dry because if they go dry, then I'm gonna have to get more generating flora to... Um, yeah, those give so much mana. Um, they go dry. I'm going to need more generating floor to put a little bit in because you can't use the blacker lotuses if they're completely empty. But that guy's like three quarters full. We should be good. I don't remember how much material it takes to make Terra Steel or how much mana, but we're going to make some up real quick and check it out. So I need uh, steel, not steel as in take, not steel as in stealing stuff. Um, we're going to need nine of these. Inevitably, I don't know if I'm gonna have enough mana. I might have to go over and get some more of the blacker lotuses from my mob farm, but we'll see. Um, and then I believe it's diamond one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I believe it's like one of each and like an ender pearl or something like that. Um, oh, and I might definitely have to. I just used them all. Yes, I did. Um, I used them all. See if you can see, I've got 379 of those. I was like, you know what? I just want to max this thing out as fast as possible. <clears throat> and so I just started stacking and I think I did like two more rows after we finished and then started another one over here But I ran out of ender pearls and I had realized I'd made a mistake on my farm Which I didn't really get to show you guys um, With regards to the loot bags and so my whole farm filled up and I'm gonna remember to take that off and so I was getting just a, a, a junk ton of stuff in here and it was it was bad um, Hopefully, hopefully, hopefully that fills up. Let me grab some of you while I'm at it. Um, yeah, we'll just take a whole stack. There we go. And so hopefully we get some more ender pearls in the meantime, but I believe that's what it is. It's an ender pearl mana. Yeah, let's, I'm gonna have to look up that recipe again, but I'm pretty sure that's accurate. Pretty sure. But then again, this is Kappa, so things could have changed. So, nope, I was right. Mana diamond, mana pearl, mana steel ingot. Easy peasy. Well, at least I can make my first four and then hopefully we get some ender pearls in the meantime. 
So let's go ahead and fill you up. All right, thank you. And then we're gonna throw you in there and you in there and we'll get these four. Why didn't this deal go? There we go. Now let's see how much mana this uses. Just, okay, so I've used about an eighth of the tank. Um, one, two, three. Okay, so it is working. So the spreader does work. However, I don't know if it's putting out, you know, it fast enough. But it's still just pumping into it. I might, I think the sparks work better. Let me, let me look up the recipe for the sparks while we're waiting for this. Because this might take a moment. Uh, sparks. White, white, gold, and play. Oh, I can make a ton of those. Oh, that's easy peasy right there. Let me go grab... I know I've got some more white uh, petals in here, right? Yes, I do. Okay, cool. So let's go up and make some sparks. At least, at least two, just for right now. Let's do that. So sparks, like so. One, two. That's good enough for right now. Hey, put that down. There we go. And are you done yet? Nope. Let's go ahead and place them. So one there, one there. Ha ha, there you go. And now you're sharing some mana. Yeah. Now I know if you, the more mana pools you have and the more sparks, the better. Okay, does this use, how much, does this use like half a tank per? If I remember right, it's half a tank per. So this should go down to about a quarter right here and then it should be done. Almost. Yeah, okay. Yeah, so it's half a tank per. All right, so I'm gonna need all of my lotuses, but it only took three to fill that one up from where it was at. So we're at a little, we're at what, um, that's three eighths of a tank, so five eighths. How many of these take to fill five eighths of the tank? How many was that? Not bad at all, that's really not that bad. That's, yeah, that's manageable. And if I remember correctly, the more sparks, the faster it'll go. So not too shabby. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna go ahead and I got my magnet on. So no, I don't. Why aren't you? Come on now. Uh, you, you, and you, go. Hey, really? Come on. You, you, and you, go. There we go. So yeah, so I'm gonna go ahead and make up the mana steel. Once I get my nine mana steel to make our weak infusion uh, core, whatever it's, what is it? Weak infusion what? Weak infusion stone. Once I make the weak infusion, once we have enough to make the weak infusion stone, we'll come back and manufacture that thing. And yes, and then we'll be doing good things. And then, yeah, cause I'm gonna have to wait on those ender pearls to get the last few, so. All right, travelers, so we got our nine Terra Steel ingots, and now we have our block, <clears throat> and now we have to go convert it into our uh, weak infusion stone. However, we gotta make that other guy first. Um, I believe it was a catalyst of some sort. Yes, it was this guy, alchemy catalyst. Okay, so we've gotta make a couple brewing stands, which sh sh I should probably be in here when I'm doing this. Um, Need to make two of you, which is simple. One, two. Good to go there. And I'm gonna have to make another ender pearl, but I have everything else. Right, yeah. I just gotta go make another ender pearl. Oh, you know what? I gotta go grab an ender pearl. I did, while I was running around, after all this time, it's been a couple days now, I did not realize that there was a error in my design. Ha ha, look at that. Ender pearl, ender pearl, ender pearl, ender pearl, ender pearl. Oh, look at all those ender pearls, awesome. There was an error in my design. And having the hopper back here actually didn't cover this back wall. Apparently the hopper only covered a three by three area. So it was getting basically this level where the glass is at here and here, but it wasn't. So that's a, every time I ran over here and there was a whole bunch of stuff sitting here, it wasn't because my magnet was pulling it in. It was because the hopper would not pull from there. And now I'm getting like mad levels. So I was leaving a lot of XP over on that last row as well as other items. So... And then also we got a few new cows. I'm gonna end, wait, hold on. Do we have another new one? What are you? I haven't seen you. No, I know you. Yes, this one, Blazing Pyrothium, which will be a little bit better for the um, <clears throat> smeltery. And then I got Energized Glowstone, as well as a fuel for my furnace, 
right? So I might set up a milking situation with that guy pretty soon. I don't know, but I just need one of you. Thank you. And so now we can go make the catalyst, put that under there, and we can get our weak infusion stone, which means we can start making some like Menencio seeds and stuff. Well, we already made the Menencio seeds, but we can start in a way of making farming seeds, if that makes sense, what I'm saying. Um, like, you know, farming out items and stuff like that. <clears throat> um, resources. Yeah, that's a better word. Resources. So now we should be able to make you. Come on. Come on. Um, did I put the living rock over here instead? Do I not have any in there? No. Yeah, there it is. One, two, three, four. There we go. All right. So now we'll be able to make the catalyst and we'll be able to make our weak infusion stone. And I really do like the fact that uh, they're getting so much use out of a Tanya in the way of the way this is all set up and designed. I like it. You're all right there. It's two blocks back. It's literally the block right. Uh, let me see. It's that block right there is where I got to put it. So put you like that. Nope. Oh yeah, I guess I could do that. I, I forget that I have that ability sometimes. Like I do it at one, like, you know, sometimes and then other times I totally forget that I have the ability to do that. So, um, so there we go. So that block is there. Now I should just be able to go to throw the Terra Steel block in and we should get the weak, uh, infusion stone or whatever it's called. So let's see. <laughs> Did we get it? We got it. We got it. Oh, oh, oh. Achievement complete. Thank you, loot chest. Thank you very much. All right, cool. <clears throat> so that's going to get us heading in. Um, well, we can do the furnaces, or maybe we can do the regular infusion stone. What is the recipe for the regular infusion stone? Yeah, I know. I already got that, but thank you. Infusion stone. Okay, so we got that one. Um... Okay, that levels it up. So just that levels to that. Okay, cool. But I don't... I'm going to have to make another one of those. Okay, so I'm going to need more uh, Terra Steel to do that. How much Terra Steel did that... Did that... Oh, that didn't use squat for mana. Okay, cool. Um, because you're going to need one to that make that, that to make that. So, okay. <laughs> um, what is the recipe for you? Okay, yeah. So you're the one... This one's like crazy. This is... Yeah, that, that one's crazy. Um, but I'm going to need you to make that one. Okay. So this makes that right. So I'm going to need two of those, obviously, but then I'm going to need two of these. So that's two of those basically to make one of those two of these to make one of these. Okay. So two, two of two is four basically. Yeah. Four of these, no, three of these and three of these means I need two of these and one of those. So... Yeah, so I'm going to have to make, like, I don't know, seven of those, I think? No, three. Hold on. Let me do my math here. I can do this. One makes this, right? And then one makes this. One of these makes this. Okay, so it's going to take one, two, three, right? One to get to here, two to get to here, three to get to here. Okay, so three, and then four, five, and then six, and then seven. Seven total, I have one. Okay, so that's six more blocks of Terra Steel. Not that it's not doable, uh, but that doesn't sound like something I'm going to be working on right now, trying to get those much higher. Eventually, you know, I will work on that, but not at this very moment because there is another avenue I want to take. Um, I could start heading and doing some of this stuff, uh, but like I said, I got to get to the hydrangeas and start getting to the mana flowers, and then it'll actually, you know, open up a couple of these because there's like the mana magnet there and uh then we would start getting to the elven stuff or whatever but i really 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 do i know it's early and i know you guys are gonna be like wow you're trying to rush but i'm not trying to rush per se i'm trying to get to um these guys so like i can make a pulverizer right because some of my recipes call for salt and i have a whole bunch of salt ore that i can't do anything with until i get the pulverizer right also, I can make a sawmill and start taking these woods and start getting six to one instead of one to one. So I think it's really, you know, in, it's advantageous. It's not just trying to hurry. It's advantageous to really start to try to get to this side. But, you know, oh, 
Oh, whoa, look at all these unclaimed over here. I thought I claimed all these. Interesting. Well, let's 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 do some loot chest real quick, shall we? I thought I, I I guess I did one thing that finally opened a whole bunch of stuff that I'd already done because I'd been making like the vibrant alloys and stuff, and I'd been making the energized and the electrical steel and all those things. <clears throat> and I guess something just finally opened when I did that. I don't know. But uh, well, that's a lot of loot chest. Hopefully, we're gonna start getting some cool stuff. Hopefully we're, we're in the better loot chest era because we haven't been getting some good ones. Uh, another unbreakable wand. Okay. Um, ooh, a chunk loader and a spot loader. Now this is nice. I like that. Another dirt chest 9,000. More crappy glowstone wall. Another hammer. More of those. A quarter heart. I'm really not getting some great stuff. And another disc. Well... That was kind of a bummer. Um, but I do like the chunk loader. So the chunk loader was cool. I'm not too familiar with the spot loaders. I don't know. Do those just load one chunk? Is that what they do? Let's see. Spot loader. There's... Oh, well. I don't want to break the cobble under. Okay. Um, do I need to do it with empty hand or something? Let me see. No, I'm assuming this just loads one chunk. I'll have to look that up, but I mean, that's, it makes sense to me that I got it with the chunk loader. So I'm assuming it probably just opens up one chunk, but let's put you back. Um, but there was another mission I saw that we could probably do right now. And that was this one, right? Because now that we've got that guy, we can probably make some Acacio essence which is made with, um, yeah, that stuff over here. Uh, Mincio, right? We've got tons of that stuff. So it wants 64 of those, which I forget what the recipe is. Um, ACCI, there you go. So I believe it's four of these. Yeah, four of these around that gives us one of those. So I'm gonna need four ch uh, stacks of Mincio, which is super simple. And we can get that done really quick, like. And, here, hey, hey. Go down. There we go. So let's see. Yeah, you've got one, two, three, four. I'm starting to get a decent amount. I've got what over five thousand there, and then these two have almost seventeen thousand each. So we're getting a decent amount of Minizio. I am gonna redesign this um, probably in between this episode and next to make it really efficient because I do want to start uh, getting the use out of these loot bags mostly for the blacker lotuses. But I know there's a lot of other cool stuff in there. But the problem is. They like a lot of them, like the armors, they, they stack in one spot. So each one of those chests holds eight, and that's it. And so I'm gonna have to upgrade a lot and stuff, and you know, do some grindy stuff. But it's it'll be worth it in the long run. So, all right, so we're gonna get some acacia seeds here because there's probably some stuff we can do with that. So, boop, thank you. And that, okay, I was like, that was it, right? All right, cool. So then we've got that one done. Go ahead and claim our loot chest. Hopefully we get something awesome from this loot chest. I'm being highly motivated. <sighs> More of the stuff from Agricraft. Well, I ain't hating on it. I'm just, you know, we could we could get more. That dirt chest has to go. <laughs> it's just got to go. I've got my one dirt chest. I do use it. I'm very grateful for my one loot chest. Or, sorry, not loot chest, my dirt chest. I do use it for that one stack of dirt. I do do that. But, uh, yeah, it's not really the most useful thing. Um, you know, maybe we'll go ahead and make these hydrangeas. Just because, you know, progression-wise, I want to, I don't want to cheat. I don't want to fast forward and stuff like that. And I really want to get to these. But at the same time, there's a lot of valuable stuff here. Like, uh, glowstone plants, right? Glowstone would be really useful. And for that, you've got to make, like, I don't know, um... It's not nether wart. It's something else. Um, come on. Nope. What are you? Uh, niter wart. Niter wart spores, if you make those and plant those, I believe that those give you glowstone. So that's cool, right? And there's other cool ones like, you know, I can make some gold, which would be really, really nice. But to make the gold seeds, I think it's a, a little crossbreeding that I have to do. And, you know, once you do a little bit of crossbreeding on camera, you don't want to do a, a whole bunch. Um, 
There they are. So let's see. Um, yeah, it's orange tulip and then the redstone seeds. It's really super simple, but I need gold ore, which means that I have to go to the nether and go find some gold and just not feeling that at the moment. Like, you know, it's cool. But we can do the hydrangeas. Yeah, we can do that and check out. Where's my book? Did I, did I put my book in here? My lexicon? Lexa? Yeah, I did put it in here. Okay, cool. So let's look up the, the recipe for those. And maybe we'll make a few pretty flowers. Because I like pretty flowers. Hydrangeas. I'm not going to use you. But we need two blue petals and two cyan petals. And this is actually good because this is going to cause me to breed. So we are going to breed a little bit. And maybe we'll... Well, do I have any gold ore? Let's see. If that's the case, I can do two at the same time. So um, I do don't have any gold nether ore, unfortunately. I've got tons of this stuff, but I don't have any gold nether ore. So, yeah, that's okay. Let us put you back on the bookshelf real quick. And we are going to start getting going on those. So, let's check out our blue flowers. To make the mystical blue flowers, which we're going to need anyways to do... Um, to progress. So, we're going to need almond seeds and blue orchid seeds. And I'm going to show you. I actually did... Um. Uh, finally kind of figured the system out when it came to breeding. If you can tell, well, actually, no, I, did, I finally fixed those. I had these one over. And so remember when I was getting the the breeding ones in the pattern where I wanted the sticks and the sticks and the water, what it was, it was just off one. It does a set area. So what I did was I moved these all over one block this way. And these were over here and I moved them all over one way. And so now the breeding as well as the 10, 10, 10 um, system actually really works, which is really cool. Uh, I've got these cobble here because I got tired of stuff getting planted where I didn't want to get planted, right? So actually I'm gonna end up doing that again really quick like. So I'm gonna get this all set up and we're gonna start breeding our flowers and I will come back once they are, well, maybe close to 10 10 10s i don't know if i'm going to wait till they're 10 10 10s or just get a couple of them to start i don't have my magnet on so that's not picking it up okay yeah so i'm going to get these flowers started until i get the two that we need and there we go and then we will come back and we'll go make our hydrangeas so we'll be right back it took a while and i'm a little bit drained of energy sitting over this puzzle over here um yeah, it was, it was actually kind of a cool little setup. It worked out really well. Because they all need to grow on puzzle, one in the middle, I basically had two things of dirt set up to get some of the starter fuse using the regular seeds. And you were like guaranteed to get the right mystical um, on the puzzle because the regular was won't grow on the puzzle. And then I did have to put sand in eventually because I had to plant some cactus to make the black ones. But all in all, not too shabby. And now we can make our mystical blue and mystical cyan. So... I, you know, I've already got some, so I already have the blues. However, I don't have any cyan. So let me, yeah, let me grab you real quick. We're going to get ourselves a couple of these. Did I only need, that's what I need to check is how many of the hydrangeas do I need? Uh, I need four. Okay. So I'm going to need actually more blue as well. And that's quick, fast and easy, All right? Because I no longer need to replace the sticks. I can just kind of uh rock these like this and yeah and then water them up and just keep claiming the things now i didn't take them to 10 10 10s uh i'll probably do that you know over time but at the moment i was just trying to get them grown and they even if they're not 10 10 10s the agricraft stuff still grows pretty quickly so it doesn't take you know all that long like as you can see, I'm, I'm getting them all pretty quickly right now, but I'm going to need, what, two of each for each flower, so I'm going to need eight total. Uh, the blues I'll get in just a second, right? I already have, what, four, and I think I still have four in here, right? Where you at? There you go. So I still have four in there. So I can put, there's my eight for that, so I can put that one away. And then I just have to kind of farm these up. I guess I could clip these real quick, and that way I can plant three at a time, but... It looks like it's gonna go pretty fast. We've already got five, I only need three more, and then we can go make our hydrangeas. And, you know, it looks like we might just finish up there. Uh, you know, doing a half hour episode every now and then, I think is gonna be better, just because, like, you know, 
someone had made a comment about um, how quick my uh, progress was, which actually, I think it's actually a pretty good thing because I do a lot of grinding. And so, you know, I it, it's almost to be expected that my uh, progress would be that, you know, pretty quick. And doing full hour episodes and then, you know, editing them together, there's a lot of gameplay going on when I'm not actually recording. So, you know, it's, I guess it's kind of to be expected that it would be pretty quick, but... Oh, I did want to show you this because I was about to grab some redstone, but we can grab it from here. So remember, if you remember, I had the redstone and the lapis uh, seeds planted over here. I didn't let them go for that long, but I already have 10,000 of each, right? So I've got 156 stacks of redstone and 156 stacks of lapis. I didn't even notice they were full until I came over here to breed just a minute ago. And when I went into here, it was just all full of lapis and redstone. And then all of a sudden I moved over and I started collecting lapis and resin in my inventory because my magnet and it was pulling stuff up that was dropping uh, from, I don't know if it was over there or whatever, but yeah. So needless to say, we've got a lot of lapis and a lot of redstone. So that's awesome. And I did that because I was going to go steal the redstone out of there, but that's fine. We can just get it from right here. Um, I need one, two, three, four. Yep. So I can make the um, <clears throat> mana powder, right? And then we will have, <clears throat> there we go. And now, oh, I don't have a bucket on me. Oh, and that's that's another thing I like to show. Okay, so I found something a little bit cheaty uh, with the inventory panel. And I was trying to make some salt because I was making uh, some binding or whatever. And, or like, you know, the binding agent to, we'll do salt here. Um, recipe for salt. Yes. Okay. So bucket, give me the bucket. There we go. So you see this, all right? And this is, I got to admit, this is kind of cheaty. I now, I chose not to, to exploit this, but if you watch this, I take my sand, a water bucket goes back in. If I take you and take the salt, a water bucket goes back in. So I don't have to refill. I'm not going to take advantage of this. I just wanted to guys show you guys that yeah, that option's there. <laughs> um, I, I I just thought it was kind of humorous that you could do that. But yes, I do not want to take advantage of such things. Like not having to refill buckets and stuff like that. But it is pretty funny. I don't care who you are. That's pretty funny. So, um, oh yeah. Was that on the altar or was that in the pedestal? I think it's in the pedestal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So one mana powder and my two science and or two of each. Okay, so we'll just throw you guys up here for a second. All right. So one, two, oh, one, two, one, two, and one. And I need to grab seeds. I totally forgot about seeds. Um, I don't know how many I have left. I wonder if there's a way to make seeds. That's kind of something a curious thing that I haven't looked into. Can I just make vanilla seeds? Oh, look at that. Two wheat equals two seeds. That's actually good to know because I can mass produce a whole bunch of wheat and get a whole bunch of seeds. That's, yep, that's very useful to know, actually. All right, so bingo, bango, fill you up. Hey, hey, no, 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 all my torches, all my torches. Where are my torches? Please, you didn't get to any of my torches? I have a feeling that there's a, yeah, where's the torch? Oh, I picked it up, okay. Oh. I think I had my torch right here. Yep. Okay, cool, cool, cool. So anyways, water in there. And one, 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 one. Give me my axe back. There. Hey. Thank you. All right. So we will have these hydrangeas in just a second. And then we'll be happy. Yeah. I like... I like making stuff and, you know, having the, the book like this, I, I really enjoy that aspect of it because it really does give you a direction to head in, right? Because it's not like we're just kind of, you know, running aimlessly and like, hey, this is something I want to do. Orchids. Well, that's something different. A functional flower. I seed what you did there. Does this make seeds? Does, does this make seeds? Hold on. What's an orchid? I don't know this flower. This has to be added in by something. I don't know this flower. You're not there, so you're not under functional. Generating flora? Oh, maybe it's under the functional flora. No, where's... There they are. 
orchids. What? How do I make it? Oh, there it is. Uh, while go mining is all good, a renewable sedentary means of getting ore is due. The orchid will use mana to generate ores in nearby stone blocks. That's pretty cool. Uh, the ore it generates are random, but seems to be biased towards more common ores rather than rare ones, which is totally fine. Um, so that's two gray petals, two yellow, two green, and two red. We can do that. We can do that super easy, like. That is kind of nifty. Where, how did, oh, my pure daisy washed up. I was like, where do I have that? Um, okay, so we'll do you. So checking that recipe again real quick. It was yellow, green, red, and gray. Okay, we can do this. Yellow, green, red, and gray. Yellow, green, red, gray. Got him. Got him, got him. All right, so you go there. You go there. And you go there. There we go. Get these watered up all quick like. We only need two of each, and that's pretty fast and simple. So, yeah, the Batania stuff is... I mean, it's not going to take long. Um, not not to grind through this, uh, you know, entry level stuff, get in the floor and stuff like that. I probably will eventually make these all 10, 10, 10s. I, d I, I can't swear that I will because I don't necessarily see a purpose to to that because you don't need a lot of these, um, a lot of these flowers and stuff like that. So. Uh, no, I probably won't. I take that back. I lied. I probably won't make these 10-10-10s because ten, ten, I, I just don't see a purpose to it. Um, if I mean, if it comes up later, yeah, it's easy peasy to do. I can just throw it in the machine now um, and, and well, in the farmer and uh, basically 10-10 ten, ten them up, you know, 10-10-10 ten, ten, ten them up pretty, pretty quickly. Uh, much faster to do it by hand, but at the same time, I can leave the machine and let the machine do it and not have to worry about it and I can come back while I'm doing another project. So... For that reason, yeah. Okay, so you, you, and seeds. Oh, yeah, we're good to go. Oh, yeah. So this, uh, I have a feeling, because uh, did it say at the cost of mana? Because that's the biggest thing. Maybe I'm just making this flower for no reason. Well, I'm not, I'm making it for a reason. Um, Arker will use mana to generate ores nearby flowers. Yeah, so it's not going to be the most useful thing, but you know what? It's an achievement nonetheless, or not an achievement, but a quest that we are completing, which is what we're kind of all about, right? So there we go. We've got that one. Quest complete. Sweet, sweet, sweet. Let me go ahead and just leave the bucket right here. Can I not leave the bucket on the side of you? Okay, there we go. All right, so we've got that one. Let's, let's go ahead and claim some of these. I think this was pretty productive in the way of we did get our... We, uh, infusion stone and we got some of the osseo. Is that what it's called? Osseo. So well, maybe we'll make this osseo furnace. That's a great way to finish because I know, I, I don't know too much about the Batania furnaces that they've created here, but I do know that this guy right here is bad mama jamma. The ultimate furnace is so fast. It's like instantaneous. You wouldn't. Yeah, it's like a stack, a tick. Like it's insane. And we do eventually want to get there, right? So let's look at that furnace and see if we can do that real quick. And then we'll check out some loot bags to finish up. So we've got the furnace, active osseo furnace, and then osseo furnace, whatever. Oh, just a furnace with four of those. We can do that. Let me just see. Well, yeah, because I'm going to need more tarot. So I can't take it any further than that. But I can do this, so... Cobble. Well, actually, let me just shift-click all this stuff. Um, I'll see you. There we go. So you, you, you. So I need eight of you, please. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There we go. And then... The furnace. I may have actually already had one, but I don't know. And then the Osseo furnace. Now, I'm kind of curious as to how fast this thing actually is. I mean, you figure it's going to be better than a vanilla furnace, right? Can't go wrong with that. Um, let us grab some coal real quick and see how this kind of compares to my bad mamma jam over here. So we're going to take one piece of coal and, you know, what? we'll take a stack of cobble and we will cut it in half. Well, that doesn't make any sense because 
And then they're only going to do one. All right, so... See, I was making binder. Five, four, three, two, one. Okay, so that's pretty quick. Those those furnaces are good. Let's see about you. Five, four, three, two, one, two, three, four, five. So about twice as fast, but really not that bad. Oh, and look, I actually could have probably have done two per. Let's see. Let's put like four in there and see just as one mini coal. It's more efficient, which is really nice too. It looks like it's going to do two. Yeah, it's going to do two, which is cool. Hey, why is that coal still there? Uh, phantom block? Yes, phantom block. Okay, cool. No, so you know what? We're, we're moving along. We're getting some awesome stuff, you know, made and we're developing and uh, I'm not going to be using this flower. So I'll probably just go over here and put it in this chest and I'm going to guess that this is going to be sitting right here at the end of the series too because I probably won't ever mess with it. But I'm going to throw some seeds in here just in case we need them. And the hydrangeas, yeah, probably never use them either. So so anyways, I don't know about you guys, but I'm having a lot of fun. I think this is an absolutely amazing mod pack. And it's just, it's really, really enjoyable. And yeah, in the meantime, I probably will do the thermal lilies and the endo flames and the Rosa Arcana. Just because these are all, you know... Uh, generating flowers that I'm not going to use more than likely because we're going to have so many of the blacker lotuses. So I'll probably end up just doing all those all off camera. But what we can do right now is I can make sure my inventory is clear. Yes. And we can go ahead and claim all our loot bags and we are hoping for some good ones. Yes. Yes, we are. No loot bag from that one. Oh, no loot bags. Oh, sad day. Well, let's check out these. These have loot. All right, loot chest, thank you. And loot chest for you. Ooh, and a half heart. All right. I do tend to die a lot in most uh, most Minecraft settings, so it's good to claim those hearts. Um, I don't remember if I actually told you guys, I did happen to die. And if I didn't, if I did tell you, I'm sorry, I'm repeating myself. If I didn't tell you, well, let me tell the story. So, oh yeah, I did tell you when I was building my uh, new mob farm, I forgot to put down torches and maybe I didn't tell the story. I don't remember. This might've been the episode that I ended up deleting. Um, I forgot to put down torches as I was starting to do the, the new layer and um, it was a blood moon. And so all of a sudden I hear the John Cena theme song start and I went sailing and this was before I had my sneak shoes, right? So when I died, I actually got my head, right? And that's actually what to put the head here. This head, every time I see it, I say to myself, remember torches. I, it's, so it's been a useful thing in that sense. Um, I do I, literally every time I see it, remember torches, remember torches. But the positive thing that came out of it, yeah, not you guys. There's nothing positive about you guys. I do have a block down at uh, Y1 because my gravestone landed down there. So, I don't know, yeah, I don't remember if I told you that, but that was my story. I was uh, right around here, and all of a sudden I hear the John Thena theme, theme song, boo, and I went sailing. Life went on, but, you know, it happens. So, yes, I did lose one of my lives, and it was actually quite crazy because I had all my uh, white stones on me. Um, no, they're in here. I did have my white stones on me as well as, like, uh, I think I had three or four on me. Yeah, I have four now. And so I died, and then I died, and then I died, and then I died, and then I finally actually died. Um, so I'm assuming that's what happens is the white stones kill or die, and then there's a recharge on them or something like that. I'm not sure. But I kept all the white stones, so I'm I'm not sure how the white stones really work. And I'm actually not even 100% how these uh, bloodstone works. I haven't quite figured that out, but there's not a lot of reading on it. Uh, tinted glass, flashlight, and read... Not really all that exciting. And purple plastic, light blue plastic, and yellow plastic. Okay, now I do know that those are going to come in quite handy. So I'm excited about those. Uh, I believe it's Pneumatic Craft that uses those. It's been a while, but I do remember them. And I remember that they are extremely useful. Yeah, I think it's Pneumatic Craft. So 
Anyways, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed these episodes, and I hope you want to see more of them. If you did enjoy today's episode and see us get a little more progress on Batania and start kind of creeping through this area so we can start getting some uh, some more useful seeds so we can start uh, another farm, probably not here, uh, just because if you can see my frame rate's actually really, really crummy right now. And it's because I have a lot of tile entities. Um, crystals, if it's not a full block, it you know hurts you. If it's moving and stuff like that, it hurts you. So we've got all that in the water and you know the flowers and all this stuff. It's just it's I need to get a much more better area here. I mean, 30 frames is horrible, generally speaking, but it's not bad. It's it's been recording okay. And actually, technically, I do record at uh, 30 frames half the time. Uh, depending on what other demands are on my computer. So, yeah, but uh, the, I think the quad is pretty clean. It's still recording in HD. So, you know, 24 frames is still HD, you know, whatever. Uh, it's all about the, the pixelation of how you... Can I shoot that guy from here? That would be, like, the best shot ever. Can I get him? Oh, that's so close. Oh, come on, I can get him. I can get him. Come on. That would be like the best shot ever. Uh, well, he disappeared. I think I just got him. Oh, all pro shot right there. All pro shot. Anyways, as I was saying, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please don't hesitate to hit that like button. And if you're brand new to the channel and you want to see more content like this, don't be afraid to hit the subscribe button. All that's going to happen is you're going to get a random notification when I post a video, which recently has been almost daily. Uh, it's a bit challenging for me to do daily because I do have a lot of stuff going on in my life and obviously you guys see that I don't have commercials on my videos because I don't monetize because I'm not doing this for profit right now. So yeah. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed and until next time, y'all know the deal. I'm Slaughter Havoc.